Hey guys, welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. So it looks like we're skipping ahead a um, good while. Huh. Well, I wonder why it did that, rather than letting me at least have some idea of what's going on. Are all of my characters staying in the third dormitory? I don't know. Hey, look, that's that's Reen's sword. So it's all right. The camera or the photograph? No. Oh. Time to get going. Uh, okay. Oh, Reen. Hi, Elliot. Why isn't Why isn't Reen's voice right now? Morning, Elliot. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else, at least on this floor. Guys in particular is probably long gone by now, being he the early riser he is. Like what happened? Reen was voiced up until now. Uh, oh, okay then. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean exactly? I don't know. He's psychic. Ah. Mm. Good morning. Y yeah. Good morning. Morning. Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Hey, wait for me, Lisa. We'll see you in class. Okay. Bye. Grumble, grumble. Lisa's still. Uh, I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Yeah, I, ho I hope. Or she's just being a bitch. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. No kidding. She's not even giving me the chance to apologize to her. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class seven's got enough tension as it is, what with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. You can say it. They're a bunch of arguing douchebags. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. Well, I'll certainly do what I can. Whatever that may be. My controller's creaking. I think that's being picked- and it's being picked up by the audio. Uh. The past two weeks really flown by, haven't they? It's funny. I went in thinking that combat practice would be the toughest part of the curriculum. Never would have guessed the academic side was going to give it a run for its money. Well, strong in mind and body is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean, though. I figured I would be able to coast through the year, but I've had to quickly reevaluate that. Huh. You too, huh? I wish I was as smart as Machias or Emma. They don't seem to ha Or Machias. Machias is how they say it in this. They don't seem to have any problems at all. But then Emma got top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Machias wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Eustace and Elisa are apparently doing really well, too. As are Laura and Gaius. Really? I guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up, then. Though I really hope they don't mind. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, sorry, you got me thinking about Eustace and Laura. I've been talking to the same way I've been talking to everyone else, but they're both nobles, right? And Eustace's family rules over the whole east side of the Empire, 
So it kind of feels like I should address them more formally. Well, they both said it was okay, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Though you probably shouldn't be going picking up the fights with the Eustace every chance you get, like, a certain someone else. Magius! <coughs> oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hoped they'd get along better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast. When the two of them are in the same room, it's just this constant tension in the air. It's not all Machias either. Eustace seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye to eye at this point. Y yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. Hello, random green coat. You're not nearly on par with us. And that's where we'd be if we weren't in class seven. Yep. Dormitory number two for all the common folk like us. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Huh? I'm still kind of shocked that class seven gets to have its own dormitory. Though to be fair, I think the building was abandoned until this year. Seems like they renovated it just for us. Well, they did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Shut up, nobles. Oh. <laughs> Class 7, I see. Yup. Is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? What? We... Eusis! Laura! They're both nobles! Come on. We're leaving. Yes, Patrick. As a word of advice, you might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Never forget your place. Oh, you so lucky I don't have my sword. I'd hit you straight in the dick with it. Ah. <sighs> So they're from one of the upper classes. And no, that is the great equalizer amongst all peoples. Noble, common, as long as they are men, they get taken down with a single hit to the dick. That is the way of life. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the nobles. Thank goodness Laura and Eusis aren't like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. My puppy is dreaming. He's making the noises. Well, good. getting back to, to game. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. Can we make it just a worse number, so that way would they feel, I don't know, just to make it things funny and entertaining for me? Just because making them in one makes them feel smug and superior. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. You can see one of them, right? Well, she just went behind a tree, but she was there. Wow, really? Oh, she's back. She's just by the uh, under the text bubble. Wow, really? See? See? Because that's our cue to pick up the pace. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Doesn't oh. sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. Oh. No, I'm still looking. It's hard to decide on one. And we're gonna like persona this and have to pick a club. Oh. Stand, bow, be seated. Okay. Who are you? As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. Really? Thomas, you have like... This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. You have the anime glasses. 
a civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> okay. Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. Okay, am I gonna have to know this? The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. Seriously, do I need to know this? Do I have to actually pay attention? But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man. A man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. Trichols. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire. And would go on to make quite a name for himself. Dreykels. And that name, of course, was Dreykels Rice Arnor. So he did that, and since he's the victor, he gets to write the history. Okay. He would later become known as Dreykels the Lionheart the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia, and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Hmm. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykel's first began gathering his army was... You know... I wonder, is the whole story of Dreykels one of the other games in the, like, I think there's like, there's a lot of games for this series, a lot of which never came to the US, but it'd be interesting if that was one of the other game's storylines, so you could kind of know the actual history, and then see what did change for the books, because that'd be hilarious. Reen Schwarzer, would you care to tell the class? Oh god, is it making me answer? Uh, oh. I don't know. Crossbell. Nord Highlands. Thank you, Lisa. It was the Nord Highlands, a region in the northeast of Erebonia. Correct. You seemed hesitant, though. Was that question a bit too difficult, perhaps? Prince Dreykel's wanderings led him to the land of Nord, where he lived with the Vagabonds for some time. It was there he heard of the Civil War taking place in Erebonia, and those Vagabonds of Nord became his very first allies. Aww, she's embarrassed. Uh, making good decisions by acting appropriately in class. And complete quests. You'll gain academy points. We've cluenized your rank, blah, blah. Next time you're on a quest. You have 15 ranks, ranging from B7 to... Oh my gods. Every time your rank increases, you'll receive a perk. Cool. Thanks for Lisa's assistance. Reen received the same amount of AP that would have been granted for a correct answer. Oh. In future instances, however, bonus AP will only be given if the correct answers are given from the start. Oh, I'm gonna be bad at that. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Yes, it is. I love sleeping. Sleeping's the best. Um, will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one. So feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. Hmm, we're getting awful persona e now. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. 
I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. Don't say test. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. Fuck! A, a practical exam? What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. Oh god, combat, I can do that. Combat, I can do. You'll be graded on your performance, <sighs> so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time, too, just to keep from getting rusty. Got it. Level jumps, so beat the crap out of some weak things until I'm strong enough to beat whatever comes in front of me. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. <sighs> oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. Oh god, is it questing? What? Because it said something about doing quests. Here it comes. So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. Thank you. Well, fee's going immediately. There goes Usus. Am I just gonna watch everyone walk out of here, Machias? Oh, they're the girls. I'm a little worried about that practical exam next week. I mean, I'm still just getting used to this staff. I'd be happy to tr help you train if you need a sparring partner. The gymnasium looks big enough, so I'm sure we'd have no trouble finding a good spot. That's very kind of you to offer. But I was planning on sending club practice that today. Oh, you've joined a club already? Which one did you pick? I decided to try for the band. They're not sure how much use they'll have for a violinist. I didn't know you played violin. Did you just pick it up for fun? <laughs> yeah, something like that. How about you guys? Have you joined any of the school's clubs? I'm joining the considering joining the art club. Art, huh? Somehow not what I pictured for you, no pun intended. So have you any artistic experience? I dabbled in it back home. Taught myself, though. So I feel like I could use this a good chance to learn proper technique. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see some of your work sometime. Oh. Instructor. Just kicking the door open, I see. Oh good, you're still here, instructor. Is there a problem? Now see, I was hoping someone could do a teensy little favor for me. There's something I need picked up from the student council room. Something you need picked up? What would that be? That's for me to you know and you to find out. All I say is, it's absolutely essential to your school life. And somebody needs to go get it. So it doesn't matter who. Any volunteers? Sure, I'll go. If I show up in the student council room and tell them why you sent me, they'll know why I'm there, right? But wait. Are you sure you don't mind? You two have clubs to go to, right? I'm still undecided, so this shouldn't be a big deal at all. I can look into a few clubs on my along the way myself, in fact. Well, if you really don't mind... Thank you. Student council room is in the student union building next door, at the end of the hall of the second floor. It's open until quite late, so there's no rush. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Uh, oh, okay. Gah. Eh, desks. You say anything interesting? Student count. oh, okay. Counting on you. Of course, instructor. Same reason you're still here, though. Don't tell anyone, but I actually left the student register here and forgot all about it. Good thing I remembered, though. Otherwise, I'd have to sit through another one of the vice principal's lectures. <laughs> She's not exactly a conventional teacher, is she? Okay. Where? Peoples? Which floor am I on? Who's? Oh, you're just a student. You're just a student. You're nobody. You're common. You're not even class... <laughs> Class 7 is better than all your... Hello, you're a noble. Do you say anything to me? Oh. Yeah, let's get actually get... What's in here? Art room? Oh, oh, these are the club rooms. 
Tomac, no. Muzik, no. Where is... If I had to take a guess... Where the two... One of the two people I'd want to be... Eh, let's, let's just barge and see if we can find people. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Noping out of there. I wonder who's in here. Huh. I figured someone from Class 7 would have been in just about like every club. Because that way it's like, Oh, you know somebody. But no. Huh. Computer room is locked. Huh. Wonder what that's about. Wait. She said at the end of the... In the building next door, okay. Darn it, I wanted to sneak in their conference room and steal their stuff. Principals don't want to go in there. Hey look, it's some teachers. Nah, not interested. Which room do we have here? Infirmary? Hi, Doc. Who's dead? Haha, <laughs> you're noble. Dude, that is just a patient outfit. Staff only. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Wonder where the uh, the the uh, Lauren Fee got to. That's what I'm trying to find. Because they're interesting. If I remember correctly, so the student union building should be the east of the main building. It doesn't seem like this is too urgent, though. So we'll head over and familiar size with campus. The classrooms are other facilities on campus. The auditorium is used for events like the entrance ceremony. This building is normally closed. It will be open during certain events. The field is home to more athletic activities, such as practical event, event exams, many sports clubs, such as lacrosse and riding. Gymnasiums for general purpose. You'll find the pool and the training hall. Two facilities are managed by the swimming and fencing clubs. I bet Eusus is in fencing. Engineering for orbit maintenance. But you can't enter for now. You'll find yourself time and time again at Thor's. Uh, library holds evaluated papers and for research and study. You can also go there and brush on the Zemurian technology. What? Student unions for relax and unite. First floor houses, cafeteria, cultural clubs on the second floor, salon for upper class students on the third. Or at least the event markers. K. Okay. K. Okay. Let's check events then. I wish I had a sprint button. Because I have a button that makes me walk. Now, so this is Student Union. I'm going to go check the uh, the other buildings, though, because I want to see if there's a club that's, you know... Where's the fields? Fields! Gardening. <laughs> Let's see. That's the gym. I'll check in there in a bit. Just curious to see what other clubs there are. Hello? People? Oh, hey, look. Hey, look. You can actually talk to me? Well, she's passionate, to say the least. Joining a sports team doesn't... Does seem like it'd be interesting, though. Who's saying you're taking a look at the clubs here? Here, join us re... Emma, what are you saying? Uh, Alright. I'm sorry, Reen. It... It's fine. Don't worry about it. You answered me. Horses is... I don't have a horse, so I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to check out the gym, and then I will go into the student union. I just want to see the clubs. If I have to join one of them for part of the game, all Persona style, I'm going to pick the one that I want to join. By the people involved. Because, you know, it's boring when you're... What? What? Given your uniform, I assume you're part of Class 7. That's right, mind if I ask who you are? My name is Patrick from Class 1. 
Class 1, huh? It's one of the upper classes, right? I'm Ring Schwarzer. Nice to meet you. I really think the feeling is mutual. I could go in good conscience thinking I was pleased. I couldn't in good conscience say I was pleased to meet anyone from some pathetic group of nobodies calling itself a class. Here at this academy, it will serve you well to remember your place. We wouldn't want commoners to start thinking a little special treatment makes them better than nobles, now would we? The thought couldn't have been further from my mind. Thanks for the advice. This guy's a douche. Hmm. There are people up this way. Oh no, they're not. This is an observation deck. The people are in the pool. Laura, hey. Hmm, fascinating. I suppose there are some things we can only do while we're students. So there's a lot I could learn in this club. Hello? La no, Laura, I'm trying to talk to the dude. Swing doesn't just strengthen your body, but your soul, too? Now that you're a part of this club, try to think of a goal. Any goal to do, as long as you want to make it happen. Working toward that will be a good way to help you become the you you want to be. Well, yeah. I'm out of here. I wonder where Fee got to. Hello? Fee? Well, she wouldn't be in here. I can't say I'm allowed to go in there, so... Okay. I guess I was signed out of PSN. Oh. Okay, now to actually go to the school student union. I wonder if Fee's in there. No, this is the main building. Get out of there. Bad rain. Bad. I have to go around this way. Sprint faster. Oh god, no. Have a sprint button! Why do we have a movie? Come on. This should be the student union building. I know the cafeteria's on the first floor. I wonder where the student council room hey is, though. Hey there, first year? Oh, you're one of the, the peoples. This, yeah. Um... How's it going? Academy life been treating you well this past half month? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, it has. I guess he must be a second year. It's not easy, but I'm managing. Mostly. Though I have a feeling it's only going to get harder from here on out. <laughs> of course it will. Your class is going to be more intense than the others, too. But you just hang in there, okay? Uh, okay. Um, wait, you're a second year student, aren't you? Do you mind if I ask your name? Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, first things first. How about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? This is gonna be something stupid, isn't it? Trick? Hmm. You got a 50 mirror coin I can borrow? I, I think so. Pretty sure I do anyways. Cheers. All right, watch closely. What are you get? what? Do, 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 do. Now, which hand is the coin in? Left? It's in your... Uh, he threw it up. I think he grabbed it and pulled it down. That'd be his left hand, I think? Too bad. Guess you win. Usually pretty good at following moving objects, too. Though, wait, you said the trick... This was a trick, which you catch means... On quick. Huh? <laughs> Keep up the good work, man. You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. Oh, and uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. See you around. Have a good weekend. Wait, my money. Wait, you have, he has my money. Rain, rain our money. Wait, my 50 Mira. <sighs> he got me. 
and he seemed to know where I was heading to the student council room too. Somehow, guy's good. You said it out loud. Haven't that many second years yet. I wonder if they're all like that. Oh well, at least I know where I'm going. Though if it really is open late, I guess there's no real rush. I might as well see what other people are up to in here. We gotta find Fee. Get in there. First floor is blah 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 blah. I had campus store, yes. You might expect cafeteria sells number of different foods. Store sells combat equipments and recovery items and yeah. Makes the best place to stock up or buy new equipment on campus. Okay. Dude, a noble's eating with a common lady. Cool. Good for you two. Chef, give me one of everything. Fine. I'll make my own food. Do you have anything cool? Oh, we can't sell anything today. Darn it. I was hoping... Oh, that's the d doorway for it. I was hoping I could buy a new things. Literature club? Ugh. Nobody cool. Excuse me? Lower class chess club? Well, sir, I'm going to leave you to your game. Imperial fishing? Gone fishing. I like that. Photography. Door. Unused room. Hello? Nobody? Okay. Well, let's see what's in soon. This looks like the place. There's definitely still someone inside. I can sense it. I hope I'm not interrupting. Hello? Please come in. I recognize that voice. Pardon the interruption. Oh, hey. You're the, the president girl. Oh, you're... that girl. <laughs> about two weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Yeah, so you're a member of the student council then? I wonder if she got moved up a few years. She looks even younger than Fee. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry, just wondering. Are, are, are you a, a second year student? <laughs> I am, but there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. Okay, Toa. The name's Toa Herschel. I'm the student council president. Oh. P president? Uh huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. Okay. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know. Okay, I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Okay. Thank you. That's very kind. She's seriously student council president? That's hard to believe. <clears throat> um, so the reason I've come here is because you're holding on to something for class seven, right? One on top. Let's see. Receive student notebook times nine. Oh, our student notebooks. I completely forgot about these. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class seven's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. Okay. And you're even using a different kind of battle orb mint, so yours had to be compiled separately. Makes sense. Meaning these notebooks have information in them about... The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle orb mints. Okay. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we could just reuse last year's template. But the Arcus type you're using works quite differently, so we had to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Okay, makes sense. 
Okay, makes sense. But wait, who's we? Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. It's ins Oh no, no, no. If anything, it sounds like we owe you a huge debt of gratitude for putting so much time and effort into it. Is that really part of the student council's job, though? Seems more like something our instructor should be handling herself. Technically, you're right. But she's always so busy. And I help out the other instructors a lot, too. So I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. What a nice person. Maybe she's a little too nice for her own good. I doubt she ever gets a moment's rest around here. So you just need me to give these the other students a class 7, right? Yes, please. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do, too. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work, right? It's such a nice gesture. You're really getting Class 7 off to a great start here at the Academy. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? She said you were all really eager to help out. <laughs> Heart indeed. I... I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. There's no way I can turn her down. No, no, Instructor Sarah is absolutely right. Your play is full, as I've seen, so if you need it, so if I can help you in any way, please let me. Phew. I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding there for a moment. There has. Sarah went behind her backs. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't give you anything too difficult. Okay, can we just stick to the standard fighting monsters thing? I like the fighting monsters things. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the academy and in Trista. So quests. Requests? Yep. Sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Thank Will that you. be okay with you? Sure thing. Thanks. I'm gonna get a little like blurb here about quests, right? Or not. Or nighttime. So okay. Dusk already. Uh what a day. Can't believe she wound up treating me to dinner in the cafeteria. And she's still got more student council work to do yet. How is she so busy? Arcus call. Um, hello? Reen Swirls is speaking. Good dog, my favorite little Vunderkind. God damn it, Sarah. I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. If this is how you treat your favorite little Vunderkind, I dread how to think you I dread to think how you treat people you don't like. Would you care to explain why you've been signing me up for things behind my back? I'll skip the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing next week. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. And since the student council truly is busy, I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. I have a feeling half the reason they're so busy is because of certain instructors. But alright, I'm happy to play along. Basically, you just want me to spend my free time, free day tomorrow, helping the student council, right? Oh, that's entirely up to you. If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. No, to be honest, I still haven't found one that really clicks with me. So that won't be a problem. There's one question I'd like to ask, though. Why me, exactly? <sighs> Seems like the kind of task you typically instruct, entrust to the class president or vice president, so Emma or Macias. And even if you were choosing based on social class, Eustace and Laura were both born into noble families. I wasn't. So what makes me so special, exactly? Besides the player controlling me through a, a PlayStation 3 controller. <laughs> well, in a sense, you're effectively at the center 
center of class seven. Pardon? I'm not saying you're its leader, of course. But in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are special. Surely even you can see that, no? Well... That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. Wait, what are you drinking? Beer, of course. <laughs> it's the weekend, and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations, alas, all by my lonesome. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is nary to be found. Sarah, I am a student. As much as I would enjoy trying to go out drinking with you, I am assuming that the laws or peoples will not allow that. Um, are you okay? Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! Damn it, Sarah. I don't plant myself somewhere, huh? She may have a few screws loose, but she's got a point. Maybe I should try going with the flow and see what comes of it. Can I be friends with Fee? She seems cool. Or Laura, one of them. They're they're chill. Except for Fee's whole like antisocial thing. Okay, so this is the official chapter one start, I guess. K. Afterwards, Reen returns straight to the dormitory. After relaxing in his room for a while, he decided to walk around the dorms. You can access overall achievements and character profile sections in the notebooks. Both can be accessed by pressing the select button or choosing note from the campus menu, then selecting their respective tabs. Camp menu, not campus. Sorry about that. Alright, President Toa left me in charge of handing out everyone's notebooks. Tomorrow's our first free day, so I should get this done with tonight. Yay! Be aware, however, the story will progress should you sl return to Reen's room. Okay. Hello. Vacant room. Two o. I'm gonna leave you to your violin. This should be Machias' room. Who is it? It's me, Reen. I've got something here for you. Be right there. Hand him out. He's a student notebook. Sorry to make you go to all that trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. Were you in the middle of studying there? I'm sorry if I interrupted you. No need to be sorry for that. How did you know I was studying, though? You've got pencil marks all over the sides of your hands. <clears throat> well then. You should make sure you do plenty of studying yourself. You don't want to find yourself falling behind. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Most of our classes seem like they'll be pretty hard, too. Agreed. So it'll be a chance to show up those snobby upper-class students. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Yeah, good night. Okay, what makes Reen special? Sarah, Sarah, please explain. Please. Guys, is painting. Whose room is this? Usus, Who's there? It's me, Reen. I've got your student notebook here. Very well. Handed Usus his student notebook. You have my thanks. Don't mention it. Mind if I ask what you were up to? I was simply reading. Oh, what kind of book? A biography I borrowed from the library. 
Why must I indulge your mundane little questions? Huh? While we may live in the same dorm, the two of us are perfect strangers. Your proximity to me does not give you license to intrude on my private life. You're right. Sorry, I guess. <laughs> Pay it no mind. Also, I suggest you be more mindful of when and whom to you, vol you volunteer your time. Otherwise, people will be more than happy to simply use you at every turn. I'd try to do voices for everyone, but I just, I don't think I could come up with enough. Was that meant to be a warning? He doesn't seem like an easy guy to make friends with, that's for sure. But maybe he's got a good heart. Hey guys. Evening ring, what's up? Actually, I was just looking for you. I got your student notebook. Here you go. Oh, I was wondering when that'd come. Thanks. Sorry to make you go out of your way to deliver it. No worries, man. Your room's got a really distinct feel to it, though. It's that hanging on the wall. It's a sort of ornament made in the Nord Highlands. I thought it'd be a good way to bring the spirit of my homeland along with me. I see. It really does give the whole room an exotic feel, though. You got your brushes out, too, so I guess you're gonna spend tomorrow painting? Yeah, I'm planning to head over to the art club. Feel free to come along if you like. Haha, <laughs> will do. No, I'm not going. I do have to do something, so... This is this is the way it's gonna be. You're gonna deal with this. Hey there, Reen! Is something the matter? Toa gave me the Class 7 student notebooks to hand out earlier, so I'm just going around delivering those. Here's yours, Elliot. Oh, thanks, dude! Anyway, were you playing your violin in here? Sorta. It's pretty late, dude, so I was just playing... wasn't really playing for C, just doing fingering and motions. The wind orchestra is meeting tomorrow, so I thought I'd get some practice tonight instead, dude. Yes, I'm doing the pretty voice. Wow, you're really into your music, huh? I can't imagine most people being that invested in their hobbies. And your room's chock full of musical stuff, too. Haha, <laughs> it's not really that much, dude, honestly. It'd be nice if the walls of these dorms were a bit more soundproof, though, dude. Then I'd be able to play all night without bothering anyone, dude. Spoken like a true music nerd. Bye. I think I gotta go downstairs to see the girls' rooms? Eh. And I bet something embarrassing is gonna... Ha! Ah. This is not a room, this is a storage cabinet. Uh ha Aha! Uh -huh. Vacant room. Mer. This is a cafeteria. Sarah! You really can't beat a nice cold beer after work. No, wait, maybe you can with two ice-cold beers. Have you been drinking all night? At least try not to fall asleep here, okay? I don't want you to catch a cold. Don't you worry about pretty little your pretty little head about me. I'm indestructible. Especially since I got the day off work tomorrow. You say that like it totally excuses your entire night of drinking. Well, anyway, you were nice enough to take on some of, some of the student council work off my shoulder. That's a lot of my shoulders. I'm looking forward to seeing how you perform tomorrow. R right. Wow, she went from plastered to bastard in the blink of an eye. <laughs> this is a lot more to her than I thought. That was a good. That was a. That was a good line there. So the girls are upstairs then. Yes. Instructor Sarah's room is locked. Okay, so she lives upstairs above Rain. So I'm going to deal with her drunk ass. Uh, I need to give Elisa her student notebook too. R right, here goes. Who is it? It's me, Rain. What do you want? What are you even thinking coming to some innocent girl's room this late at night? Good point. I wouldn't under normal circumstances. But I've, there's something I need to give you. 
Rain explained that Toa handed out everyone's student notebooks. Oh. Okay, wait a moment. Hurry up and hand it over. Okay, just hold on a sec. Rain took out Elisa's notebook. Should be this one. See Elisa right... Don't read that! Elisa snatched the student notebook out of Rain's hands. It says Reinhardt on it, doesn't it? And that's what she didn't want to tell anyone. I, I can't let my guard down around you for a second, can I? S sorry, I can't tell which notebook is which without looking inside. I really didn't mean any harm. <laughs> or so you say. Anyway, is that all you wanted? Good night, then. Slam the door. Trumble. Trumble. Er. Guess I'll have to back off for tonight. But it seems that R isn't just an initial. I didn't finish reading her full name before she snatched it out of my hands, though. Is there any reason she's hiding it? Because she's connected to the Reinford Company or something, and she doesn't want people to know, or something. I don't know. Open. Do any of these open? Face, open door. Let's take a guess, though. This should be Fees. That's a good... Who's there? It's me, Reen. I've got something here for you. Coming. Handed Fee her student notebook. Cheers. Ugh. Oh, were you asleep? I didn't mean to wake you. It's fine. <laughs> I'm surprised you want to sleep this early, though. I mean, we just had dinner. I didn't have anything else to do. You done? Yeah, I just wanted to give you your notebook. Right. Uh, Fee! No! She's a unique one. That girl. I wonder how she ended up a student here, anyways. Meh. This should be Emma's room. Yes? Who is it? It's me, Reen. Do you have a moment? Ah, Reen, I'll be right there. Handed Emma her student notebook. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, on an unrelated note, how are you planning on spending the day tomorrow? I'm thinking I'll help out with the student council. How about you? I plan on looking into some more clubs. I haven't seen what the culture clubs have yet to offer, so I'll be visiting them tomorrow. Alright, joining a club does sound like a good idea. Let me know if any of them seem really good. <laughs> I will. Also, I hope you're able to make up with Elisa soon. Huh, did you hear us just now? <laughs> you weren't exactly quiet. I think Elisa still needs to sort out her feelings about everything. But don't worry, I'm sure it'll work out in the end. Thanks. Good night, Emma. Good night, and thank you for bringing me my notebook, too. Jeez. Everyone knows the bad stuff. This should be Laura's room. Hey? Huh? Hey, Laura, are you in there? Is that you, Reed? I'll be right there. Handed Laura her student notebook. Thank you for taking the time to deliver it to me. Just don't worry about it. What are you doing, anyways? You didn't hear me knocking, knocking and you're covered in sweat. I was practicing with a wooden sword. I must have been so focused on my practice that I didn't hear you knock at first. That's some concentration, all right. Maybe I should do some practicing when I get back to my room, too. <laughs> you certainly don't want to neglect your training. I'd enjoy it if I had someone to duel with sometime, too. Well then, good night. We're totally gonna be doing duels and stuff sometime. To practice. That, that'd be fun. I'd totally be fun. I think I'm gonna, there's nothing really else I can do tonight. I can go talk to Sarah. Should I call it a day? Yes, date to change the main story to advance. Let's do that. Man, we really didn't do much so far. Hmm. It's not like I really care too much, but it's like, uh. Just one day, right? Free day. So, we just gonna like walk out of the dorm? Figure out how we want to spend the day? Oh, we're gonna get our quest list. Class tests, April. Old School Mystery. I have reason to believe a strange phenomenon has been occurring in the old schoolhouse of late. As such, I request that one or more combat-ready students look into this and report back to me. 
For more details, come see my office in the first floor of the main building, Principal Van Dyck. Horrible delivery. I just finished preparing a bunch of horrible tech here in the engineering club, but I need someone to come deliver everything. Stop by the engineering building, left the student union, and I'll tell you more. George, class two, year, th or year two, class three. And a noteworthy loss. I dropped my student notebook, and I can't find it anywhere. Would someone be willing to help me look? I'll be over on the first floor of the student union building, and I'd really appreciate it if someone lent me a hand. Colette, year one, class four. One from the principal, one from the engineering club, and oh hey, one from another first year. So I wasn't expecting a request from the principal, it's my first assignment, but hey, if I don't screw it up. I am curious about that one from the engineering club too. Sounds interesting. Well, I've got all day, so I'll just, I'll just dive in. You now view quest in your notebook. Quest tab automatically records all the progress of extracurricular activities you undertake. It can be accessed by pressing the select button and choosing note in the camp menu, or by simply following the quests. Some quests can must be completed in order to advance the main story. These quests have a rec mark next to their name, and the story will progress only once after they've been completed. Quests without this mark are not essential for advancement and will disappear from the time the list is taken to an if not undertaken in a timely manner. Two bonding points about bonding events. On free day, special events can be triggered with certain characters and classmates. The sub characters, these are called bonding or sub classmates and sub characters, these are called bonding events. One point will be consumed each time you view an event and what your bond will be that character will be strengthened. Note, all unused points will be lost when the story advances at the time of day turns to evening. On the evening of each free day, you'll receive one bonus point which can be used to trigger one bonus evening exclusive bonding event. Okay. Well guys, on that note, tomorrow we're gonna er not tomorrow, but next time we're gonna have some interesting stuff. It's been quite a while recording, and I'm gonna be doing a bit of editing on this to try to keep it down to a reasonable time, but well I'm thinking I'm gonna spend my bonding points on I don't know Fee Laura. I think that sounds good. I am also curious about the principal saying one or more combat ready, so I wonder if I can make a party to go in there. Anyway, we'll find out next time. See you guys. Bye!